Hey everybody, Eric Zeman with Phone Scoop here at CES in Las Vegas. What we're going to show you right now is a quick video walkthrough of Windows Mobile 6.5.3. This is a new release for uh, for Microsoft headed to uh, Windows Mobile phones uh, at some point later this year. And uh, there's been some changes to the user interface that make it much, much more finger friendly. So let's get started. You're going to notice right away, if you're familiar with Windows Mobile, that we've got some new things going on here on the bottom. Basically what Microsoft has done is taken all the functions that used to be up here and moved them down here. Microsoft did this because, well, obviously your thumb is a lot closer to, uh, to this part of the screen than it is in this part of the screen when holding a device in your hand. Many aspects of the, uh, of the operating system remain the same, of course, but you can see as we scroll through all the different um, features of the phone, we always have access to these buttons down here. What's really nifty is that there's a uh, hiding a uh, set of uh, applications up here, little icons, widgets, that you can um, scroll down and get access to. You can just kind of swipe, similar to the notification bar in Android, but this is for, uh, for applications. And we can uh, zoom through all these different, uh, different little widgets and things to, to access different, uh, different parts of the phone. Of course, it still has the uh, same um, menu system here on the, on the main page and um, the, the new grid that's uh, much bigger icons and uh, much more finger friendly and uh, we can zoom back out. One of the changes that I noticed that I really want to show you is uh, in, the, in text messaging they've made some awesome changes to the keyboard. So here we have the full QWERTY keyboard, right? Say I want to get two numbers. I swipe sideways and there are all the number characters. Swipe right back to go to the QWERTY. Oh look, I can swipe over here and get to a, uh, a standard uh, you know, 12 key configuration with, uh, with characters and things like that. So you can, if you're you know, more comfortable with triple tapping or using T9, you can do that here. So that is really nice. I, I think that's my favorite feature here of, um, of this new, new keyboard design in Windows Mobile 6.5.3. And of course we can ditch it and get rid of, get rid of it uh, if we need to. And looking at the menu, you can see the menu system, and this goes across the board for all applications, is uh, they're much bigger. Um, there's a lot more room, and you can see that it's just easier to use your finger to tap things and get at different, uh, different parts of the, uh, the operating system. Let's see, go back out to the main screen. We'll go up and uh, show you music, the music application. Uh, we will um, launch this. You can see it here, we've got the uh, same things down here at the bottom and uh, more finger friendly controls for the player itself. And uh, we still have access, even though we're listening to music, to uh, these, uh, these tools up here. And um, get rid of those. And this also has a menu that lets you uh, do all sorts of different things with the music player. And um, the phone, is, uh, is very similar to the existing uh, Windows Mobile 6.5. Um, this is uh, a nice, uh, nice keypad here for dialing numbers, and uh, you've got the same menu system here. You can also uh, get rid of the keypad at will, and also bring up the QWERTY keyboard to dial in your contacts for easier searching and finding phone numbers. Looking at the calendar really quick, same thing. You know these these buttons down here make the operating system just much easier to use. Uh, you can much more easily get at the uh, different facets of, uh, of each application. Things such as the keyboard just you know pop up at will and um, it's, uh, it's just generally a uh, much uh, nicer version of Windows Mobile. Certainly one that we've been hoping to see come from Microsoft for a long time. Going back out to the home screen one thing that a Microsoft employee told us is that a lot of the other things that are being uh, put into 6.5.3 are uh, just some optimizations for the uh, user interface so that it runs smoother and faster. And you can see it's quite quite zippy on this device, which happens to be a, uh, a Toshiba TG01, which has a uh, gigahertz Snapdragon processor in it. So. Um, there it is, a quick and brief look at Windows Mobile 6.5.3.